imagine if uh, jimmy played all the 16 games last season 20 mm-hmm. mm-hmm. uh, with a record of 10 and 6 and probably getting knocked out eventually in divisional round mm-hmm. so if that happens question is would kyle still draft a quarterback not ideally at 3 but ever the position and in the first round would kyle still go for a quarterback even jimmy played all the games i don't know not necessarily not necessarily what do you think i think yes you think you would in round 1 yes tipping okay. point is when shawn mackey uh, go for that uh, first effort trade after okay. that kyle will realize okay i okay. need to update too. so uh, here goes the second question okay right now everyone has uh, their preferred quarterback that they want to be uh, in their 49 offense right but the question is whether kyle is going to draft that guy or not i mean there is a high chance that you like certain quarterback let's say kyle trask but uh, kyle uh, draft a different guy so how can you make sure that kyle draft the quarterback quarterback that you like How can I make sure that Kyle drafts a quarterback I like? Man, that's impossible. I guess to say that uh I don't know. I don't know that's impossible. How do I do it? Tell me. Okay. Here's my answer. Let's okay. say it's Kyle Trask. So, okay. I would convince Kyle Trask to change his name to Kirk Cousins 2. Yes. Kirk, Kirk Cousins Jr. Cousins. Oh, Kirk Cousins Jr. Something like that. Kirk Trask. Kirk Trask. Kirk Trask. I like that. Yeah. As long as you have your a good strong name like Kirk, Kyle's going to like you or CJ. Yeah. <laughs> CJ Trask. I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> right. Also, I was thinking Mac Jones. It seems like Kyle only likes quarterbacks named Mac or Matt because he had yeah. Matt Ryan, Matt Schaub. Yes. Exactly. And Mac Jones. So you got to have an MA name. Okay, what's the last one? Yes. So last question is now, uh, given this situation now, many uh, players now coming out. Uh, mm. First, uh, George Kittle in his usual sneaky way he said okay i like jimmy but it's up to the organization but dj jones he was very straight he said jimmy is my guy mm-hmm. i want him he mm-hmm. took us to the super bowl yesterday rahim monster talked about jimmy being his quarterback everything so first i mean uh, it's a two part question first thing is do you think the way kyle treating jimmy is fair and the second part is can this create a division in the locker room i think it's fair the way kyle's been the way uh jimmy's been treated i think the niners have given him a lot of money and stuck by him and i think it's fair i think it's fair for the niners to say look dude we now no longer are confident that you can stay healthy we got to move on we got to go for a cheaper option um the only way it divides the the, the locker room is if he becomes the backup and certain players feel that's not justified. I still think it's okay to bring him to training camp and to bring the rookie to training camp and to let someone win the job. But I think if Jimmy loses the job, best to trade him at that point, get rid of him and bring in someone else to be a veteran backup because as you said, I think that could split the locker room because he took this team to the Super Bowl and then he may have some very loyal supporters on it still. Would you agree? Uh so here's my answer. Okay. Uh so I think it's unfair. Here's why. Okay. So you don't draft a quarterback worth of three first round picks just to compete with Jimmy or just fire I mean to make Jimmy mad, make him uh, work more hard, right? Mhm. If you do so, if if Jimmy still can beat this rocky quarterback for the starting job, then Kyle and John should get fired immediately. Yeah, right. right. So the thing is this, I understand that Jimmy did not live up to the expectation. Fine. Mm-hmm. But that is not the way to treat him at this moment. Because last year when Packers drafted Jordan Love, they were super straight about it. They said we need a quarterback for the future. And mm-hmm. the best example is when uh Andrew drafted Mahomes. He said Yes, we have Alex Smith, but I thought this is a guy that we could not pass. Mm-hmm. That's why we made it, and that created the opportunity to Alex Smith to talk about it too. He said, "Okay, I didn't like the decision, but fine, I understand." Yes, 
by Andy Reid did it, right? So yeah. basically, Andy Reid, off the field, he is super straight. He he is showing his class that he he made that situation, even though it is uncomfortable, that everybody understood. But Kyle here just uh, dragging Jimmy through the dirt, mm -hmm. right? So I think that will eventually make that locker room split that they don't like jimmy being treated like this i mean why okay you now you have the quarterback right so you start him eventually but at least say okay this is our plan future plan we are going to trade jimmy away we all know that but why are you trying to put jimmy through all the uh, all this trouble why are you publicly shaming him it's a good point. It's a good point. Well, we'll see what happens, man. We'll see how it plays out. Yeah. And yeah. eventually. Okay, okay. One one last question. So do you think Kyle Shanahan, uh, what is the ranking in the NFC West for Kyle Shanahan among the coaches? I'll put him third. Yes, I'll agree. I'll put him third. And we should be thankful for uh <coughs> <laughs> yeah, big cliff. The guy has no idea what he's doing. Yeah, Kyle's third. He needs to win more. Yes. Yeah. Hey, thanks okay, for coming. Thanks a lot. Good questions. I appreciate it.